name is Alyssa. And I'm Emily. And you're listening to Slash and Slay, a horror podcast. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast, Slash and Slay. Yes, it is your favorite. I'm Slash. I'm Slay. <laughs> yeah. Question mark? And okay. I'm Slay. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes I'm Slay. Sometimes I'm Slash. If so, I'm in the mood. Yeah. What are we talking about today? Today, we're going to dive into our biggest fears. I'm so scared. I'm more scared than you. Oh, that pause was us being, being scared. scared. So, um, for our listeners. Yeah. We're going to talk about what scares us, what terrifies us, what keeps us up at night, what makes us cry, what brings us down, what. As a scaredy cat, this list is going to be long for me. Mm-hmm. As a former. Is there something more than a scaredy cat? Because when I was a child, Probably. I was just anxious a scaredy dog i was a scaredy mountain be, lion yeah Ooh. i was a scaredy, scaredy lion lion the cowardly lion that was you yes literally scared of my own shadow mm. and i'm like the scarecrow <laughs> no, no thoughts <laughs> no thoughts just vibes yes no thoughts just vibes just i'm like excited to talk about this though and me see too how I can scare you. Oh, really? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's um, very telling of you as a person. And I think we're being vulnerable with you by telling yeah. you our biggest fears. I think fears. so, too, because sometimes people use it against you. I've had that happen yes. to me. Yeah, and they think it's like, haha, you're scared of ocean or whatever it is. And you're like, or no, bugs. I'm like, yeah, or whatever. And you're like, no, like, I'm scared of it, you know? Right. It's not nice to mess with someone's fear. PSA. Yes. PSA for everyone listening and watching. Don't mess with people's fear. Don't mess with people's fear. That's all. But before we get into that, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the horror movies that are coming out this summer. Summer is already almost here. It is. Can you Isn't believe? that my least favorite season? My least favorite season too. It's so hot. It's so hot and gross. I hate it's sweating. So hot. There's kids everywhere. Yeah. You have to go to the beach. You have to go. You, you have, have to go to go the, the beach. beach you know. Ugh. You have to go. Yeah. Um, I do not like summer, but summer is one of my biggest fears, actually. I oh. just decided. Summer is coming. That's exactly how I respond. At least we'll have these movies to look forward to. That's very true. Great segue. Back into what we were talking about. Um, I haven't even seen the trailer for this yet, but the I haven't seen the trailer for any of these actually. I haven't. Oh, I saw one. Um, the Boogeyman is coming out June second, which is right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Um, the Stephen King adaptation about two sisters who become enamored with an evil presence in their home after the tragic death of their mother while their father struggles to deal with the loss. Is this based off of a... I think a short story. Okay. Did you read that? I did not. Should we? We should. <gasps> should we? Should we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we pepperoni should. pizza? <laughs> should we? Sorry. Reference. Reference. That's a deep cut reference. Um, what else? Um, The Blackening. I saw the trailer for this. Did you? Yes. It comes out June 16th. It is a comedy slasher film that originally actually premiered in t- the t- at the 2002 Toronto Film Festival. 2022. 2000. <laughs> it's an old movie. <laughs> what year am I in? 2022 Toronto Film Festival. It examines the trope of the black dude dies first. It features an all-black group of friends at a cabin in the woods. When a masked killer appears, he demands they rank their degrees of blackness so he can determine who to kill first. Ooh. Ooh. The trailer looked good. Did I'm it? excited they for that funny one. And mm-hmm. I, li- I like horror comedies. They're always a fun mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. A, good, a good mix of the genres. Yes. I also enjoy those. Um, July 6th. Uh, Run Rabbit Run will premiere on Netflix. It's about an infertility doctor that becomes haunted by the sudden strange behavior of her young daughter. 
I've never heard of this one. Me neither. Is it based off of anything? It's Not just a thing? Okay. It's coming to Netflix, so it's like, you know, a Netflix movie. Okay. Um, of course, there's Insidious. The Red Door comes out July 7th. It's the fifth Insidious movie with Patrick Wilson reprising his role, and he's also directing it. And it's about the son of the movies going off to college. Hmm. You know what I was surprised to learn what? after we released our episode on The Conjuring mm-hmm. and the true story? That people just like love Patrick Wilson. They do. You didn't believe me. <laughs> I don't feel like you believe me. No, I didn't. I was he like, is, okay. He's everything. He, he has a he's whole a fan. Daddy. Okay. Okay. So. Patrick Wilson's back. I haven't seen any Insidious. They're good. Are they? They're like, I mean, they're very, they're similar to The Conjuring, I think. But maybe better. Okay. It's been a while, actually, since I saw the first two. I think I saw, actually, I think I saw three of them. Okay. Well, maybe I will watch all of them. <laughs> binge yes. all of them before July. You need to binge all of them. And we'll okay. go see this together. Okay. Um, We also have Talk to Me, premiering July 28th, um, acquired by A24, about a group of teen friends who get hooked on their discovery of conjuring spirits using an ancient embalmed hand and end up opening a back door into the spirit world actually i did see the trailer for this is it the one with the hand yeah it's okay like a hand and she like grabs it and then it like and it does the a24 sign with the hand yes okay um what about that bow's not bow oh that came out um in that April. already came out mm-hmm. is that horror i think yeah it's a it's um oh Ari Aster. I, okay okay so I thought I was doing something (laughs) (laughs) telling y'all what about that one okay I did not realize that already came out yes okay interesting um I'm excited for those I guess we only really need to read the boogeyman if we want to read the boogeyman and watch all the insidious movies I was like wow easy homework (laughs) easy no No. wrong that's exciting though and it's really around the corner summer really is oh yeah I just realize i literally made plans for june 2nd today and like wow yeah it's happening so i guess that means you can't go see the boogeyman guess not not on opening wait. night not on opening guess night. not it's too bad oh well um now i don't think any of these are gonna scare me you don't because they don't seem to have any of my core fears in them hmm. are you sure Actually, I don't know. I was just trying to segue. (laughs) Trying to segue into our topic, which is our fears. And we're just going to just talk about like the movies and the books and stuff like that. That kind of fueled our fear. Yes. Now, let me tell you. If you will. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little bit about the psychology of fear, Emily. I'm scared. Why are you scared? She keeps hyping the beginning up. She's like, I'm going to do the I, beginning. I, it's, just, you're going to be fine. Just, and she I'm like, will. Why? You'll be fine. She keeps smiling. And I'm I know not. when she's messing with me. Okay. No. Okay. This I'm closing comes, my eyes. This comes from theverywellmind.com. And it states that fear is defined as a primal emotion that involves a universal biochemical response and high individual emotional response. I agree. <laughs> now, there are certain symptoms of fear, right? And I just want to see. I just want to see out. if you exhibit any of these symptoms of fear. When you look at something that might scare you. Okay, I okay? can't. I'm really going to close my I eyes. I just want you to tell me if you are currently exhibiting fear. Oh, my okay? gosh. Stop. Just look at, I look did. At it. I looked at it. Emily? Do you feel chest pains? <laughs> it feels like I'm going to throw up. Chills? I literally can't. I have um, dry mouth, rapid heartbeat. Nausea? Shortness of breath. And it feels like it's, oh my gosh, I feel like there's a whale in my stomach. Nausea? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sweating? Are you sweating? Oh my gosh. You were cold earlier. Now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trembling? I I think I'm just uncontrollably You're not trembling. jittery. And then you said you have an upset stomach. I'm going to throw up on your hand. Okay. <laughs> I will remove that. Oh. So, Emily, she just experienced fear. <laughs> yes. Are you mad at me? I'm so mad. 
I quit. Um, Very Well Mind says that certain fears tend to be innate and may be evolutionary, evolutionarily influenced because they aid in survival. Others are learned and are connected to the associations or traumatic experiences. Oh, okay. I like that. Can we talk about which one we think our yeah. fear is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So there are some certain treatments of fear, of course, like systematic desensitiz- de Why can't I talk? Systematic desensitiz- <laughs> Oh my god. Systematic. I'm scared that you de- can't sensitization. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Um, That's a hard word. There's a Z is. in it. It is. We hate Z's. Z's. I'm afraid of Z's, y'all. <gasps> Zebra. This is <laughs> this is the gradually exposing the fear, the person to the fear. So stage one would be talking about it. Stage two would be showing lots of pictures of it. Stage three is doing something more hands on. Um, they use an example like a snake, like holding a fake snake. Or stage four would be actually interacting with that thing. Getting dizzy, thinking if I had to do this. A real snake. The next type of treatment is flooding. And that is when you are exposed to a vast quantity of the thing you're scared of. Um, a vast quantity or for a long period of time. and But you're in a controlled, safe environment. Slowly, slowly keep doing that until the fear diminishes. Hmm. And that one's actually been known to work the best. So like immersion therapy? Kind of. But I okay. think I think less like, here, like, let me throw you into this okay. vat of spiders and like, you but know. it's safe. Yeah. It's okay. a safe <laughs> environment. So. Nope. <laughs> I feel like my, well, my fears, my biggest fear doesn't prevent me from living my life. So I feel like I don't yeah. need to go to therapy for it. Right. It but just that might be you. me enabling. Well, I mean, well, let's talk about okay, it. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> it. We can, do you want to go ahead and talk, start talking about the one that we kind of both sort of share? Yes. Okay. So, me and Emily both kind of have a fear. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Emily really does. Um, My biggest fear in life. Emily's biggest fear is the fear of the ocean and the sea creatures. Mm-hmm. My, mm-hmm. one of my biggest fears is the fear of, like, similarly open ocean yes i'm scared of sea creatures but it's more like the vastness of the abyss of the ocean that's my secondary fear it's like okay and your secondary fear is the sea creature so yeah we're we're swapped Mm -hmm. because mine is being under like that picture you showed me Mm -hmm. she showed me a picture of a whale underwater which is yeah we'll all here somewhere check mark check mark Mm -hmm. i hate that hate it being underwater nope Whales. Whales, no. Nope. No. I actually am more scared of whales than I am of shark because they are just so But like large. What about like blue whales. Yeah, no. They're the ones no. that nope. will like nope. protect nope. you from sharks. Haven't you seen those videos? I will never no, be in that situation. No. Videos. Of course I haven't seen those videos. But it's like it's really sweet. That's why like I think they're magnificent. I like I really like whales. I can't even of any sea that. creatures, it's I would like a whale. Whales are Except terrifying. for killer whales. Those, oh my gosh. those are Thinking scary. About it, I'm literally like, I actually am getting chills right now. Thinking about a killer whale. Do you see? I do, actually. You got them. Killer em. whales. Um, I don't like this This in movies or, I mean, just any sort of video where, like, so the water's, like, waving, right? And then the camera is, like, above the water. And then it, like, ducks down under the it. water. It. And it keeps going. It keeps... Oh my gosh! Like, what it, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna see? What? That's it, yeah. yes. I hate it so much. It. I have all the similar nausea. I can't not nausea, I but can't watch I it. like. I feel like I feel sick. I did get. Um, I did push down my fear way, way, way down, and I watched Avatar: Way Up Water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was. <laughs> <laughs> she choked. Stuck. Um, I watched it like this, mm-hmm. like through slits of eyes. So I could just be like really quick if I had to. Yeah. Or I was like, this is what I do in horror movies. Mm -hmm. I just close my eyes like almost so I can kind of see it, but I don't have to fully experience it and immerse myself. So Avatar was a horror movie for you? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) There are whale-like creatures in that. Oh, yeah. And it was underwater because it was the way of water. The way of the water. Yes. Um, 
for me, I think this was a learned fear. Because mm-hmm. I used to really like Free Willy. That movie. Oh, I love that movie. I liked that I movie. Had a, I had a little pet Free Willy killer whale. Oh, yeah. See, I really liked Free around. Willy and Dolphin Tail. I liked that one. Did you ever watch the movie Zeus and Roxanne? No. Did you ever watch the movie Flipper? Yes. With Elijah Wood? Yeah. And there's like a hammerhead shark at the end. Mm-hmm. That always scared me. I did watch that one. Um, I think this is learned, but like um, one movie that really set me off was Finding Nemo. Mm. And this is an iconic story in my family with my sister. My younger sister wanted to see Finding Nemo so bad. And I was watching the trailers and I was like, nope, 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 nope. Not going to watch that. So me and my dad went on a McDonald's daddy daughter date. Yes. While my mom took my sister to see finding nemo and then when it came out on vhs and we got it um she like put it in and then i'd be like okay when the sharks come you have to tell me and i'll leave Mm -hmm. and then i come back so i'd leave the room while they had the shark scene and then i'd come back and the whale scene i'd leave and then i'd come back but you weren't scared of like the little fish and stuff no it's just like what about the barracuda scene at the beginning i left for that one too Mm -hmm. yeah I did not watch that one for a long time. So I didn't know the whole yeah, didn't, didn't know, know the whole story of Finding Nemo. Um so even like one, cartoons, like I think it's just those specific creatures. Like, you know, the Barracuda didn't talk. Right. You know, so that one was scary. That one was the scary. whale didn't talk and it was all by itself and alone and like my knees are getting weak. But it weak. was nice. It's it took vast. them to where it needed to go. You're the one that doesn't like the vastness and it was I just the yeah, whale I didn't by like itself. Like that when it like emerged emerges up behind. <laughs> Oh, it is kind of scary for like a, kid's a movie. little child and then bruce jump scare <laughs> oh yeah the the mouth yeah behind them they always do a lot of behind shots there scare That's me kind of scary i guess finding nemo is a horror movie <laughs> heard um, it here first i don't really know i think that's where it really started for me was mm-hmm. finding nemo and then i don't know i just really developed a fear of drowning too and that, I think, goes in hand in hand because yeah. I feel like if I see one of those creatures, I will drown. Like, I don't know why. That's just my fight or flight. Because you're like, it's deep enough th- for these creatures to be here, so I'll drown here. I'll die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my ultimate thing. So it's it's their visual is yeah. terrifying to me. Their existence is terrifying. Why do they need to be here is terrifying. Right. Um, the water. Hate it. Um. I don't the much like fish. The, the lassophobia. Yes. Is what it's called. All encompassing, which is the same. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, yes, the vastness as well freaks me out. And then also drowning. Yeah. Is a big one for me, which is learned. Mm-hmm. As I was on the swim team. Oh. But I still hated swimming. I hated ocean. I hated all of it. So do you really ever go to the beach? I do, or but like, I don't get in the water at all. Don't get in the water at all. Not even feet in the maybe i walk yeah the feet but even then i'm like I don't why really like i like, used why? to go far out when i was a kid Me and too. i would want to and now i can't I'm scared of the rip it's like if i can't if my feet cannot touch the ground no because i feel like you're in the ocean and your mind also plays tricks on you and you feel things rubbing up against you and you're like what is and it that very well could be something it could be anything especially like galveston that Nasty. dirty you can't look it's water. a mud pit it's literally dirty and then you just feel things against your legs at yes all times. and there's so much seaweed in that ocean specifically yeah yeah um no thank you do I'll you think you yours is learned or just inherent uh, i part of me thinks it's inherent because i haven't had anything happen to me so maybe it's like just your it's just like flight. I'm like no like I see that and I say no mm-hmm. because they say the ocean is like less not less what explored is it? less explored than space <laughs> see I'm not <laughs> like, scared of space at all like neither. I would go to space today if yeah, I could I don't want to go to space and that's like vastness but it's different it's different I think it's I don't know un- how but well, it is space is unknown but there is an unknownness to, I don't know. There's just so much. There's so there's much we don't know about. Not creatures ocean. that might bite you in space. Yeah. That we know of. That we know of. 
<laughs> we haven't run into any yet, but we've no. run into a lot of creatures that will bite you in the ocean. So <laughs> yeah, until um, we run into creatures and aliens in space, I'll go. Mm-hmm. Um, what other movies fueled your fear of that? Mm-hmm. Mm. <sighs> movies like um, the Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea, you ever seen that? It's like sharks. Sharks that um are really, really, really smart. Oh. Yeah. No. Samuel L. Is it Samuel L. Jackson? He's in it and gets his arm bitten off. No. And then LL Cool J. He electrocutes a shark in a kitchen. Oh. And everything's like underwater. They're in like an underwater like lab thing. And so the sharks get break it mm-hmm. and then like everything goes to put mm-hmm. hmm. to put that's not the- kaput kaput <laughs> <laughs> to put everything goes to put everything goes to put um what other ones what other fears or movies movies um i don't know flipper um, i mean flipper did a number on me with that freaking hammerhead shark yeah flipper um for me finding nemo Mm -hmm. jaws i just recently watched and definitely solidified why i will never be going in the ocean um the commercial for the meg that came out (laughs) couldn't watch that yeah jurassic world there really there's one part in that i know it was not enough that was enough did you ever watch jurassic world yeah oh (laughs) not the trailer the actual yeah actual movie um and also a movie that we actually we started watching and then i had to take a break which was don't look now um which is an older movie um it's a little psychological thriller horror Mm. and um someone drowns at the beginning and after that happened i was like i can't and so we needed a break and i finished it Mm -hmm. but yeah it that freaks me out yeah, and I'm sure there's so much. It's just like there's so many movies there's that so do, that many does that. shark movies, the, or just movies that go underwater. But like you can't, you can't watch stuff about the ocean. Like you couldn't watch a documentary about the ocean. No, no. See, and I can, and I would. Like I'm kind of with the um, with the, I don't know if the systematic desensitization. <laughs> doing it again. Desensitization. Good job. Mm-hmm. Or flooding, but. Like watching stuff like that. I mean, maybe it's flooding because I can watch it, and because I'm in a safe, controlled environment, I'm watching like documentaries or I watch people's videos that come up on TikTok or whatever that do that exact thing that I said I'm scared of, the up and down. But I watch it. Hmm. Well, you I'll also watch, watch horror movies. I do. So maybe that's it. Maybe I like. Um, it hasn't made my fear any less though. I like you know the blackfish documentary on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Just the like the picture of it. Oh, I go the whale. I scroll so uh-huh. fast because I'm like I yeah, can't like I can't do it. And like now that picture that you showed me is like ingrained burned in, in my head. And the blackfish one is burned in my head. You know like I'm sorry. It's deep rooted. I just had to see if you would have the emotional responses. I was doing it for the podcast, okay? I'm doing it for you guys. Yeah. I'm a guinea pig, which I'm also terrified of. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a guinea pig. <laughs> Fun guinea, fact. Guinea pigs can be scary. It did bite me. Yeah, I had hamsters that bit me. I never had a hamster. I wanted one. It would hold on your finger <gasps> and you would like shake it off and it would hold on your <laughs> finger. <laughs> that Aww. was kind of scary. <laughs> It was just a fun game. Killer hamsters. Yeah. I bet that's a movie. I bet that it's a movie somewhere. Somewhere out there. What other fears do you have besides hamsters? I'm I'm just like a typical girl and I'm afraid of spiders. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, no, but like that's part of your core personality though. It really is. I and it's not like a And that is another thing. thing. I like can you spiders. You're like, oh my god. Yes. Yeah. I'm so similarly, I can watch videos of spiders. It, it grosses me out and it freaks me out, but I can do it. I can sit there and watch it. And sometimes I, I seek them out. I don't know what you that, look at. <laughs> you, I don't know what that says about you me. You don't have like the 
what is that in your brain whenever you need adrenaline? Like you don't have that. I That's guess you look it up. <laughs> I guess instead not. of killing people. But if I'm faced with a spider, IRL, it's walking across the floor in my kitchen. I freak out. I freeze. I can't. I can't squish them. Like with like my shoe. I you'll can, touch it. I cannot do it. To me, there's some weird part of my brain that sees the spider. It's crawling along. Uh, my shoe is about to go on it. It turns around and it flies up <gasps> on my shoe and stick and crawls across on my shoe and then climbs up my body and then bites me in the face. Every time is what I think is going to happen. The day that does happen, but you won't feel so silly. I won't. And everyone who made fun of me for it is going to rot in hell. <laughs> 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 okay. You heard it here first. <laughs> here first. Um... Yes. So I'm very scared. I don't know what it is. It's just like the there's creepy crawliness of them. I was bitten by a spider. Um, but this was like after my fear. So it solidified my fear. Mm-hmm. I was bitten by like a typical wolf spider, like a house spider. Mm-hmm. And my ankle swole up, huge, turned purple, couldn't walk on it, turned almost turned like a black. I thought it was a, I we thought it was a um Brown, brown recluse r- recluse but you're like no no because like those you um, would have died <laughs> would have died or my like i would have gotten a hole in my oh right thing and that it never happened so and so i was looking at pictures and settled on like the wolf spider mm. so i have a good reason to be a afraid of frightened them. yeah yes any movies that really freaked you out um the movie arachnophobia heard of it you have you heard of it have you seen it they use real spiders <gasps> they have some fake ones obviously but they use real little tarantulas and spiders and they're everywhere they like infest this house and they're lit- they're literally everywhere Ugh, that's disgusting yeah any other ones i mean lord of the rings used to with the big spider. Have you ever seen it? Mm-mm. you never seen Lord of the Rings? We already talked about this. Have we? Yes. I haven't <sighs> seen it. I've seen two hobbits. Mm-mm. Only two. Mm-mm. Dark spiders in that it. one, too. Oh, you're right. I didn't like the movies very much, so I was just kind of watching. Yeah. So, uh, in the third movie, there is a giant spider. And it always kind of... It- what about Harry Potter? I don't know if that scared me. Maybe because it talked. It was like, we're going to kill you, though. (laughs) But it talked. What if spiders talked and said, we're going to kill you? Oh. (laughs) You know? IRL? I would not like that. Yeah, a giant spider that might kill you. I'm trying to make you scared of Harry Potter. (laughs) Um, Maybe because that seems just funny. And, like, Ron is, like, being his face. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, Ron. But it is kind of scary when the the spiders are crawling after them after the car just driving through the forest yeah that part, that is, part is scary that part's freaky what about bees wasps oh, other yes. bugs i'm yes i'm also very 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 scared of bees and wasps i know bees are so important for the environment and i don't mess with them i love honey and i love them for who they are but don't come near me don't look at me <laughs> <laughs> there I was love the bees but don't don't ever talk to me mm-hmm. There was a, again, I like watching videos of people taking um, like bees out of houses. It's one lady on TikTok who takes them out like bare hands. How does she do that? I can never. I can never. Have you ever been stung? Yes. I stepped on a bee once and it flew up into my foot and stung me on my toe and I thought I was dying. Yeah. It was horrible. How old were you? Like 17. (laughs) Okay. So I've never been stung. It's recent. By anything. Not recent. No, it's not really, it wasn't recent. Um <laughs> recenter than me being like eight. Recenter. You know? Recenter. Um, I've never been stung. But I did a few months ago. I went to the doctor. Mm-hmm. I was trying to go to the doctor with my brother um for him. 
And this bee, for some reason, the doctor's office like locked the doors at lunchtime. Rude. And so we couldn't get in to even wait or anything. So we were waiting out there and this bee just kept crawling and crawling on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get this off. And so I like literally like laid against the wall, like trying to get it to crawl off. And then I was like, someone help me. Like I couldn't get it, couldn't get it to get off. And finally... Like, I literally started crying because I was like, it won't come off me. I thought this bee was going to be off me forever. And then it finally went away. But that's my horrifying bee experience. Oh, and <laughs> one time I was watching my little brother and he was like two at the time. Is he like a bee whisperer? Whisper her. Why do we keep talking whisper weird? Her. Whisper her. Whisper her. Um, Maybe he's like one or two, like definitely under two. And I was watching him and he picked up a leaf and a bee stung him. And because it was on there, and it made oh, me so sad. Because it it's it's shocking. Yeah, especially if a you're like baby. a little little yeah. baby, you do not know what's going on. Yeah. Um. There was a movie, My Girl. Have you ever seen the movie? No, but I know what happens. <sighs> sad. He gets um little Thomas. Thomas. He gets um, Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. He gets stung by bees. He's allergic to bees, and he gets stung by bees going back to get her mood ring, and he dies. Yeah. It's really sad. I, I can't imagine watching that as a child. Yeah. It freaked me out. Yeah. That's so sad. I used to tell people I was allergic to bees. I don't, I'm not. <laughs> so you could freak out? I don't know. I, I think I just like, was like, I'm allergic to bees. So if one comes near me, so I'll, I will die. So I have, I have a right. Yeah. To be angry. But I was lying. I'm My sorry. My sister used to tell people she was allergic to cheese, but she just didn't like it. I, d- I used to do stuff like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, who cares? Yeah. Didn't have to deal with it. Mm-mm. Um, it's another one of your fears. Home invasion. Oh, me too. It's um, also on my list. I might. I don't know about you, but, like, my mom told me, like, home invasion and abduction, the way she talked about it made me feel like it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, it was going to happen. It just was if I was prepared or not. Yeah. You know? So I was always terrified of, like, home invasion. Um, I, like, still to this day will sometimes be like, okay, what will I do if someone comes to my house? Mm-hmm. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How will I defend myself? Um, I we used to live in, like, County Road, like, out in nowhere. Yeah. So that was kind of scary. Um, and then I used to, we also lived in this one house where, my room had a back door to the backyard. Ooh. So I was always terrified. Someone would come through that. Yeah. Mm. Um, and Us, the movie Us. Yes. Kind of gave me even more reason to be afraid. And then we watched Funny Games. Oh, that one yeah. has a really good home invasion. Funny Games is really... Ugh. Terrifying. So terrifying. Because like you don't know what their goal is. Like Someone could be breaking in to steal something and you're yeah. there and you catch them or they're they are breaking in to hurt you specifically and you're like why it's terrifying I'm literally just being here you know yeah um same with cabin at the end of the world yeah or what was it called knock at the cabin mm-hmm. scary mm-hmm. like what are you supposed to do like they have even though it's your home, like your safe place, they have the upper hand, which is so scary. Yeah. Unless you're like a bunked out, you know, have all this apocalypse weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. If they want to get in, they can get in pretty easily. People can. Unfortunately. Yeah. Like last night, I even, I mean, this happens sometimes. I'll be sleeping. I'm not sleeping, but trying to go to sleep. And I'll uh hear a noise in my kitchen it's usually my ice maker but i might just like not hear it at the right time so i hear it the last second i'm like what was that yeah i'm like listening and i wear contacts and i don't have glasses so i just take my contacts off and i can't see anything all i see is like shapes in like through the door and it's dark and usually my i would get up and i wouldn't get up and investigate because i'm i'm that girl (laughs) We were like, what am I, what are you going to do? If you're here, like, you're here. It, I can't see you. So mm-hmm. like, come and get me. <laughs> yeah. Um, same with like my fear of being abducted. Mm-hmm. My mom, like she instilled that one in me, but she yeah. would tell me real life. Like this happened to this girl and she was your oh, age yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And I would literally be like. Terrified. Okay. Yeah. Like so, so terrified. Like 
especially like the true like she would told me about like jean benet ramsey who wasn't like abducted but still like that's kind of home invasion too yeah maybe we don't know we don't know who did it we should talk about that one day. we should do we a should. true crime episode we should i'm curious to think what you think happened because there's one right answer don't say it i'm we'll not talk. i wasn't gonna <laughs> Um, she told me about that. She told me about like JC Duggar and that mm-hmm. one terrified me. Um, and then like the purge, oh, um, yeah. that one scared me cause, um, but only the commercial because they took one person in the commercial and I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to happen to me. It does happen. Yeah. It does happen. Same with home invasion, I guess See, too. The I purge. watched a lot of, um, I only watched the trailer though. Again, I watched a lot of like maybe kitty movies where like the kid was kidnapped but it was like kind of <laughs> a joke and so or not a joke but like it wasn't like se- it wasn't that serious yeah. it was like a kid movie like, oh, and that so kid i was kind escape. of was like i want this to happen to me <gasps> no. i know i i was you screwed uh, up i know <laughs> I because I would think about how how would I escape and stuff because to me oh, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't stakes in my mind for a while me, because be like, of those movies okay, you have to get your shoelaces and get the twisty ties and yeah blah, blah, yeah to me it was like oh I could convince them that maybe they want to take me back <laughs> like I used to just like, annoy them wanted to happen I used to write a lot of s- stories a lot of my stories I wrote were about kidnapping hmm. but it was in like a fun lighthearted sort of way so. I remember actually talk about that in therapy. I think it was after a concert that I went. To. It might have been a Taylor Swift concert. Honestly, my mom drives us, and we're getting gas, and she says, "Hmm, that's where Amber got abducted." <laughs> and I'm like, "Thanks, mom." You know, like the Amber of Amber Alert. Yeah, she's like right down there, and I'm like, "Awesome!" <laughs> like she would just say stuff like that all the time. Mm-hmm. So it just really that's how mine is learned for yeah. sure. Because I have no reason to think of of that um but there's also like you know the black phone oh, that's yeah. abduction child abduction that's oh, really scary um that's what it really was like and i was over here thinking it was like fun and game yeah no but that's actually what <laughs> that's it was. actually what it was really yeah like. um another documentary i mean i watch these documentaries too which is you know i'm scared of being murdered and abducted and i still like love watching those documentaries mm-hmm. um i think that's how you probably know that it's like not a core fears yeah because you know, if you can still watch them um abducted in plain sight that one was horrible because the neighbor just kept like the parents would just let the kid go like they'd be like okay well you're our neighbor's gonna abduct you you know because they like yeah. were so manipulated mm-hmm. which is another thing i'm like oh my gosh um and prisoners oh yeah i only saw the trailer but that one, I you saw didn't it. Actually, it's watch so it. vivid in my brain. It's, it's like, a really good movie. No, I won't watch it. <laughs> it's so vivid in my brain because we were watching Lee Daniels, the Butler, and that trailer <laughs> came on. And then that night we drove home, and I swear it was the exact same RV. And I saw someone that looked just like the person in the trailer, the creepy abductor. And I was like, I'm going to. Or was and it I did not abductor? sleep for two nights because I was so scared. I think you jumped to conclusions about who the abductor was. The person with the long, I'm short long hair. I'm not going to watch it because it terrified me to death. I don't want to spoil it for our viewers, flash listeners. Okay. What other fears do you have? Um, I'm really afraid of being charged with a crime that I didn't commit. <gasps> because what if... I think I have that fear now, too. <laughs> You're welcome. What if... I just remembered I have that fear. Like your hair is like winds up on a dead body and then they, I don't know how it works clearly, but what, I don't know. Like what it if could. I, get, I get charged for something that I didn't do or like this one's not even irrational steals my identity and they use it for something. And now I'm in this big mess where I have to convince, like prove who I am. Well, if I think also- about it too much, I, I, I really kind of sends Freaks me you out. Yeah. into a spiral it's also like you know nowadays if you were to get in trouble for something and they're like where were you on this day mm? home alone i don't know what i had lunch had for lunch today yeah. you know what i mean like i mm-hmm. don't remember i don't remember times like i don't i do not know and like so i couldn't wh- have an alibi i'd be like mm? those things when they they take them into the interrogation room and they interrogate them for hours and hours and hours i would be like yes i did it i'd be like (laughs) like at the end of the day i'd be like 
I guess I, I would be, I'd probably be, they would probably convince me that I did it. Yeah. And that is illegal. Mm-hmm. But, but they, they could. They could do it. Yeah. That is terrifying too. So I'm really afraid of that happening. And I can't watch documentaries about it or anything mm. like that. So maybe that's like a real trick. That one, yeah. Cause because I do it watch freaks so me much. out because I'm like, that could happen to me. I can't do it. Yeah. Mm. I didn't commit any crimes, okay? I don't know. Maybe you you heard, you, Maybe you're just throwing us off the scent. How dare you? <laughs> How dare I have you? to get you back That's and true. scare you. That's true. I'm going to like did. call you tomorrow and be like, is this Alyssa? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you I'm the like, night of? I don't know. Emily. I, <laughs> I see that your you're caller ID. <laughs> um yeah that's that's scary oh i did tell my boss that you unlocked my fear of um claustrophobia because of watching the oh. descent i was never You're welcome scared of like claustrophobia or anything but then when they got stuck in that hole i was but like at oh the end of the my day, gosh you wouldn't be in that situation no so it's one of those things like you could completely avoid that situation yeah by not being dumb and like reckless by not going cave diving yeah not being dumb and reckless. Re- yeah. Reckless. Reckless. I'm also really afraid of, of being stuck someplace that doesn't have a bathroom. Mm. That doesn't really happen very often. But when it does. It happened to me one time. And guess what? I had to pee between two dumpsters. <gasps> and I thought I was going to die. Of embarrassment. <laughs> what was that? It's my stomach. <gasps> I'm scared you're going to die of <laughs> hunger. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Are you hungry or digesting? I have to go to the bathroom and I'm stuck and I can't go. Oh. There's no bathroom here. <laughs> There's no bathroom here <laughs> at our slash and slice set? No. So you have to go behind the dumpsters. Yes, I'll have to go outside and go behind the dumpsters. And that's my biggest fear. Aw. That is kind of scary though. But I don't know if it's just more of an inconvenience. It's like when you have to pee so bad. Have you ever had to pee so bad that you were going to burst? Yes. But there's no bathroom around. One time I had to pee so bad and I was driving. It's always every time I'm driving. Every time you're driving. Every time. And I was like five minutes from home. But I couldn't do it. I had to pull over and I just had to do it. (laughs) Just had to pee. Yeah. I tried to pee in a bottle once while I was driving. (gasps) What? It didn't didn't work out. (laughs) Okay. It didn't work in out. your car. Yes, I will never drive. Your I car. didn't pull over. I was like, "Yeah, I can do this one." <laughs> Were you with somebody? No, I was alone. I didn't. I didn't successfully do it. Okay, but I did try. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Learn more than you wanted so to know. About much? Me? <laughs> no, I mean, it's not like horrible. It's just why. <laughs> I had to go, and okay, it was like open fields. Oh. It was like not. It was okay. It was you not, only had that option. Yes. Okay. You were like, I guess I'll go in this bottle. <laughs> I guess I'll go in this bottle. That's what you can use your Stanley Cup for. Oh. Okay. For that one. Oh well. Thank you. Not a reusable. What? Like I mean, not a disposable. Why not? Water. Because you can't fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> we can't fit. Can't fit in there. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I'm scared you're lying to me. Anyways, That's my new fear. About what? That you're lying to me. That uh, you're not a girl. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't know. Exactly. That's why I'm like scared now. Okay. You're lying to me. That's what I'm scared of. It's okay. You you can tell me when you're ready. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just was, I feel like I was scared of everything. Like just everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. What's something else I was scared of? It was just situations, like specific situations. I also that was, might happen. Yeah. I I would like at least once a night be or once a week, once a night. I never slept. <laughs> be like just awake and terrified. One one of my hyperfixation fears was the Kraken from like Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh yeah. Like specifically that one that would like have the little mouth. I was like mm-hmm. I stayed up one night just being like terrified just of that. Thinking about it, even though you're nowhere near an ocean. Yeah. It was a lot of true stories that I'd be terrified too. Or like folklore mm-hmm. would scare me too. Vampires scared album. me for a long. Yeah, folklore Taylor Swift, terrifying. <laughs> um, also, the Shutter Island trailer scared me. Oh really? Did you ever see it? The movie? Mm-hmm. No, just the trailer. One time, my friend was like, "You have to watch this scene," and then they tried to show me, like, 
a, the like a drowning scene or something from it. I was like, oh. why are you showing this to me? <laughs> like, you know that I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. Mm-mm. I guess we're just scared of everything. I'm not scared of everything. It's very specific things. <gasps> I'm scared of everything. <laughs> You're not. You've grown out of it. Barely. Yeah, but um, Barely. the first time I did see a horror movie was It, 2018. And it's also like I'm scared of like being able to put myself in that situation. And my little brother was like the same age as Georgie. Mm. And then right at the beginning, the opening, tear like... Uh, the person I was with was like, I think I think we need to go. I was like, it's fine. I don't know. I'm like literally disrupting <laughs> so the theater. Yeah. Um, but then I crying? watched it again. Yes. Oh, sobbing. Wow. Um, but then I watched it again the next weekend. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. Like, You're fine. So maybe I was doing that slow. Yes. Well, I think it was um, submersion, uh, immersion therapy first. And mm-hmm. then I was like, let's let's revisit it. Yes. So, But I was safe. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, I think in conclusion, we should read a scary story. I think so too, because we got one from one of our listeners. Thank you for sending Thank it. Thank you for sending this. We love these. Yes. And you can send yours at slash and slay pod pod at, at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Do you want to read this one? I'll read it. Okay. Yes. Hey, slash and slay girlies. I love your podcast and Hi. wanted to share this experience I had. Hi. When I was in high school, I was home alone a lot of the times and would always hear weird noises all the time. One time, I had just gotten off work and I was downstairs having a snack and I heard this noise upstairs that sounded like a chair had fallen over. I was so scared and immediately called my boyfriend and told him what was happening. I then started to walk around the house and saw my curtains moving downstairs, for both, but both dogs were in their houses. I was still on the phone and told him what I saw and ran to the kitchen to grab a knife for protection. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and then started to hear footsteps upstairs and really got scared. I ran out my back door and looked up to see what looked like a silhouette from my mm. bedroom window upstairs. I went through my backyard gate into the front door as my boyfriend pulled into the driveway. We walked into the house and he began searching. We go to my parents' bathroom, which I swear is haunted, <laughs> and turned around and out of the corner of my eye, I see a dark figure in the corner and I do a double take, but then it's gone. Mm. We then begin to hear footsteps from the attic, but then it's gone. To this day, I'm still scared of being home alone in my house. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like you're not paralyzed by your fear because you, you seem happy. You say LOL <laughs> and love y'all. Bye in all caps. Um, yeah. that's so scary though. That is. It's kind of like home invasion. Yeah, but by a spirit, maybe. Maybe. I'm I would glad. but I wouldn't first I wouldn't first think I mean I guess unless you had 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 paranormal experiences in your house before, I would think someone had broken in. I was hearing yeah. like things turning over and footsteps. I didn't think until she said out of the corner of her eye. Then. Yeah, and then it was gone. Yeah. So um but imagine going out in the backyard and then looking up and seeing a silhouette in your bedroom window where no one else could possibly be. That's really scary. I would call the police. At least they At called least. their boyfriend. Yeah. Good um, job. And you got a knife. So good yes. job. We love protecting ourselves. Mm-hmm. That one's scary though. Mm-hmm. If you have more, tell us. Yeah. Let us know your or scary people. stories. Yeah. Or your fears. Oh, yeah. Tell us your fears. Tell us your biggest fears and a story about what fueled your fear. Yes. And maybe we'll read them. Maybe. If we have time in our busy schedules. <sighs> <laughs> um, I also thought of something fun we should do. What is that? I think we should bring back the two-sentence horror. We should. Should I look them up? Yes. I think we should just scroll and read. Okay. Let's scroll and read. I have one. I asked my daughter what she wanted Santa to bring her for Christmas. She responded with something so terrifying that I can't even repeat it. That's it? I was going to say that's a long first sentence. Okay. <gasps> ah, I'm scared. Oh, so scary. Um, here's one. LeBron James will never hurt me, I whispered repeatedly 
in dark bedroom. You're right, he won't, said Michael Jordan behind me with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why are they like Michael Jordan and LeBron James? Okay. Um, I heard strange noises in the doctor's office. I was shocked to find out there were screaming orphans in the basement. Ooh. That's a fear. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's one. Doctor, how many days without sleep do I have left before I start hallucinating? Zero, as he faded through my apartment ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh <my> God. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Um, my girlfriend wiped the tears from my eyes with a tissue. Little did she know the tears came from the creature I have in the basement. I don't get this one. They put yeah. the creature's tears on their own eyes. Yeah, I think. Okay. I'll take it. Um, I was relieved when I realized the only damage to the time machine was to the wires. All I need to do now is find someone in ancient Sumer to sell me some good quality copper. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This one's better. Hmm. Soldiers are attacking my school. They're killing all my classmates and teachers. But it's okay. Master Skywalker is here. He'll protect us. Yay, wah, Star wah. Wars. <laughs> Yay for Star Wars. <laughs> At least that one made sense. Yeah, it did. I don't know about ancient copper. Yeah, I don't either. This car seat isn't very comfortable, said my friend at the start of our road trip. He didn't know he was sitting on a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. Good job. <laughs> I made up one in my head for you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it together in my head right now into yeah. two sentences. Man, this toilet sure isn't that comfortable. She said as she realized she was peeing into a bottle. <laughs> That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that one. A specialty. A special what? A specialty. A specialty? Specialty two story. Specialty two two sentence horror. For you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you make up one for me? Mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The. <clears throat> um. I, <laughs> I. I saw. Hold on. I was. I was swimming in an ocean when I saw the sharks coming towards me. And then I remembered all the sharks are dead. <laughs> that would actually be good for me. That would. That would make me happy. You would actually really like it. Yay. Was that good for you? Yes. Okay. Good. I'm going to say read one more. Then you read one more. Okay. Um. Okay. My stomach grumbled. Then I shit myself. But it smelled like a ghost. <laughs> ah! That is horrifying. Happen, happens to the best of us. <laughs> um, I shaved my balls last night. Little did I know, I'm not supposed to have balls. In parentheses, I'm a woman. That is not very that, inclusive. No. Mm -mm -mm. How dare you? Anybody can have balls and anybody can shave them if they would like. Yeah, Jonathan Doe. Oh. <laughs> John Doe. Yeah, Jonathan <laughs> Doe. Did you really <laughs> I just put that together. If you're Jonathan Doe, we hate you. He spells it like Doe, like D O U G H. He think he doing something. He think. He think he do. He, he think, think he do. do. <laughs> he think he do. Here's one. I was reading a story by Jonathan Doe. Little did I realize it was spelled Jonathan Doe. Oh. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Okay. That's one of those ones you have to. You, you have, have to watch it. You have you to have look to at it, visualize it. it. To it's not it. for our audio listeners <sighs> or visual listeners. It's not for you. Yeah. Um. This episode is really 
terrifying me. It's really taking a toll on me. Are you emotionally distressed? Yes. But do you feel like you're one step closer to getting over your fear? I don't have any desire to get over my one for like the ocean ocean or drowning because it really doesn't pertain to me. And it keeps me very hyper vigilant in any sort of water or Mm -hmm. anything. So I don't have a desire to get over that one. Okay. Um, I won't make you. And my fear of abduction, I think, is healthy. Maybe it wasn't when I was younger. It definitely did prevent me from getting restful sleep <laughs> yeah but, but now i mean it's now healthy. it's just important to always be on the lookout yeah so i don't think i need to get over any of it i'm just gonna keep being in my i will never get over my fear of spiders i'm sorry i don't care who you are you don't what, really need to. what you say but it's not going anywhere i've had this fear since i was a little child and my mom thinks i'm ridiculous for it she always um yells at me because i won't kill a little spider but okay it's not my fault it's not going anywhere if it would if would have gone some if if it would have if it would have if it would (laughs) if it would have gotten better if it it was going to go away it would have gone away by now i was in my bed and i saw a spider and then i remembered all the spiders are dead (laughs) I would love that one. <laughs> it's not a horror. It's not a horror. It's it's my happy place. It's two sentence happy story. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Send us your two sentence horror stories. Yes. Your they can scary be good, stories. They can be bad. They Make us be, laugh. Yeah. Um, send us your scary stories. Tell us your fears. Tell us your hopes and dreams. Tell us. We can do pillow talk over <laughs> Instagram. Just, t- just talk to us. Like, geez. Please just tell us something. <sighs> Um, no, we really enjoy talking to you guys on Instagram yeah, we really do. and we really appreciate all the love we've mm-hmm. gotten. And, um, you can always find us on Instagram at slash and say pod or on TikTok, TikTok at slash and say pod, um, at email, at email, at email, <laughs> at email, at email, <laughs> at Gmail, <laughs> at slash, wait, not at slash and slay pod slash and slay pod gmail. at gmail.com not at not okay. at don't put an ad in there don't put at slash and slay at gmail <sighs> um, but you can also subscribe to us on youtube at slash and slay pod a horror podcast is the whole title but i think it's just at slash and slay pod yeah yeah i made it more complicated you really that's did. what i'm scared of what making things complicated well it's too late for that that's all i do this whole <laughs> time <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, listening. We love you. We love you. Bye. Bye.